Hello and welcome to this Boxer tutorial. This video presents the physics-based morphing and smoothing capabilities that are available in Boxer Geom. The tool allows you to deform geometry based on a surface scalar. In this example, we demonstrate component degradation during in-service life with surface erosion of a hydro turbine guide vane that is exposed to sand-laden flow. The erosion rates used in this tutorial were sourced from CFD models that utilize discrete phase particle tracking and the Finney erosion model. Flow field results were based on the best efficiency operating point of the Francis turbine at 12,000 liters per minute. And particle conditions are based on sand flow rates for rivers in the Himalayas during monsoon season at 12 million tons per year. The steps to generate the surface erosion rates are outside the scope of this tutorial as we focused on the morphing capabilities in Boxer. In this tutorial, we use the test case provided by NTNU, the Norwegian University of Science and Technology, under the Francis 99 workshop series. To start, we import the source geometry of the Francis turbine into Boxer. Similar to generating a mesh, the geometry is captured using an octree the surface resolution is dependent on the octree cell size. We define the bounding box by clicking Edit Bounding Box in the toolbar. Due to the circular arrangement of guide vanes in a hydro turbine, it's best to utilize the cylindrical bounding box option. In this tutorial, we are only going to be morphing a single guide vane with half of the adjacent veins also included in the bounding box. The bounding box can be easily defined by specifying the location of two opposing corners. In Boxer, the axial direction of the cylindrical coordinate system is assumed to be aligned with the x-axis, with the other two coordinates being theta and radius respectively. The number of cells parameter defines the discretization in the theta direction and subsequently defines the length scale of the course's octree level. Next, create a region with the seed point by clicking Create New Region in the toolbar. You can define the seed point location by typing the coordinates into the editor. Now, we add a phase refinement to the guide vane to increase the resolution of the octree on the component surfaces. For this tutorial, a refinement level of 2 is sufficient to capture the eroded geometry. For high fidelity CFD models, the resolution of both the octree and the phase refinement can be increased to capture the flow field in more detail. Next, we create the physics based level set morph specification. You can do this by clicking Create New Level Set in the toolbar and selecting the Physics option. From the Feature tree, drag the Francis Turbine part to the source field in the editor. Open the external data file browser to select the surface scalar file. The surface scalar is defined in an ASCII encoded column format file with a unique ID, XYZ locations, and the surface scalar value. The magnitude can be set to control the scale and direction of geometry deformation, but we leave it at a value of 1 for this tutorial. Here we control the maximum level of deformation by clicking the checkbox and setting max to 15. Next, we set the slider value to 10 to control the deformation level of the surface at the end of the operation. This value can be easily adjusted later to represent varying degrees of surface erosion. Finally, we use a fixed time step to control the increment in surface erosion at each iteration. That is, a higher value gives a more abrupt change in deformation between slider values. Due to the octree input and surface scalar data, the resultant surfaces from a physics-based level set morph can often be irregular. As such, Boxer includes the capability to smooth geometry so that surfaces are more suitable for CFD modeling. Click Create New Level Set in the toolbar and select the Smoothing option. Drag the previously defined physics morph from the feature tree to the source field in the editor. In this example, two smoothing iterations are sufficient to provide a good representation of the eroded guide vane for a CFD model. In the last step of this tutorial, we will generate a mesh from the eroded surface. Therefore, 
Tick the regenerate octree from this operation checkbox so that the meshing operation works on the eroded surface and not the originally imported guy vein geometry. Next, we run the level set operation by clicking generate level set in the toolbar. This process took about 15 minutes on my laptop as the octree is relatively large for a tutorial. However, this degree of resolution is necessary to capture the eroded geometry in detail. In the feature tree, right click the smooth patches and click only to view the eroded geometry in the interface. The next step demonstrates how morphing operations are affected when the upstream and downstream dependencies are modified. We'll change the slider value of the physics morph to represent a more extreme state of erosion, which causes the smoothing operation to be out of date. In the feature tree, right click the physics morph patches and click only to view the unsmoothed geometry in the interface. From this, it is clear how the smoothing operation improves the geometry surface. Double click the physics morph to edit its properties. Drag the slider to its maximum value of 15 and observe how the geometry changes in the interface. The smoothing operation is now out of date as its input, the physics morph, has changed. Rerunning the level set operation now takes approximately 4 minutes on my laptop as only the smoothing operation needs to be recalculated. Finally, we generate an inviscid mesh without near wall layers. This shows how a boxer has generated the mesh on the eroded geometry surface as opposed to the originally imported guy vein geometry. Near wall layers, extrusions and all other capabilities that box mesh offers can be used in the usual way for the eroded geometry. Thank you for watching. Please visit our website for more information and contact us if you have any questions.